Topping the news this evening, in the wake of a double shooting at the Potter's Key Dock this week, a concern for safety and security is at the forefront of vendor discussions tonight. Antone Smith visited the dock today to get feedback from those anxious vendors. The stall where two men were shot and killed earlier this week remains closed and other businesses at Porter's Key Dock quiet. Nobody look like they wanted to come. If you invite people and need the dock, they think in twice. And in the two days following that event, Potter's Key Dock vendors are concerned over their security and safety. Sometimes, for we'll say something, something dangerous happened on Potter's Key, you would have officers circle the environment for maybe about two weeks, three weeks, something like that, and then you don't see them no more. You know, they slack off. While at the Key, which is also a tourist hotspot, we spoke to Minister of Tourism Dionisio de Aguilar, who ensured the safety of the cultural hub despite recent events. It's been an institution, uh, um, uh, a place for families to gather and people to congregate for, 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 for many, many years. And so, um, you know, once in a while these types of incidents are going to flare up, uh, but you know, Potter's Key Dock is a safe place and we mustn't let these distractions uh, cause us not to, to do what we enjoy doing. Despite security reassurances, vendors want to see a resolution going forward, citing both their businesses and reputations at stake. We just need more and more eyes and more vigilant eyes, more CTTVs to more protect more of the stall vendors and just think about us, all the small business owners and so forth. Just maybe a uniform officer in presence all the time might make a difference. As Potter's Key tries to resume its normalcy, vendors just want one thing, a conversation being had and action being taken by officials. Antoine Smith, ZNS Network News.